I would have said God, by whatever signs or symbols you ascribe to the deity. This machine, the Super Collider, will take us as close as humanly possible to his or her greatest creation, and that is Genesis. This is a Genesis machine. It will recreate on a microscopic scale perhaps the most glorious event in the history of the universe, its birth. In the 1990s, American scientists dream of building a super collider, the most powerful atom smasher humanity had ever had, was shifted to European countries. And now the European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN, has the Large Hadron Collider, a supermassive atom collider that might take us down to the beginning of everything. With the Large Hadron Collider, perhaps one day we'll be able to answer these cosmic questions. What happened before the Big Bang? Is it possible to go through a black hole? Can you bend time into a pretzel? We're now entering the cusp, the cusp of human progress. A hundred years ago, think how primitive we are. A hundred years from now, think of how advanced computers, artificial intelligence will be. Right now, we're at the most interesting point in human history, the cusp, when we're going to rocket through the universe. The Large Hadron Collider near Geneva, Switzerland, is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator in which scientists can collapse, create, decay, and observe the tiniest particles existing in our universe. The Large Hadron Collider is comprised of a circular track of 27 kilometers that has superconducting magnets and multiple acceleration components that are designed to increase the energy of particles as they progress. The LHC has four main particle detectors named Atlas, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. However, it was not built in just a few days or months. It took the engineers 10 years to build this giant machine. During this period, the LHC did face some incidents and delays that made it the most awaited mega project at CERN. In 2005, a technician named Jose Pereira tragically lost his life when switchgear fell on top of him. Subsequently, in the next two years, breakdowns in cryogenic magnet support and magnet quench happened, which resulted in the leakage of six tons of supercooled liquid helium. These unexpected setbacks halted the initial testing runs of the LHC, challenging the presumed capabilities of both CERN and the Large Hadron Collider itself. Despite these hurdles, the LHC was officially inaugurated in October 2008. However, there was a delay in the initial testing phase, which caused a 14-month setback until November 20, 2009. These pre-inaugural incidents were just a prick. It had to face several runs and shutdowns. But during the first run in 2009-2013, scientists at CERN were able to detect, observe, and announce the most significant discovery in the history of particle physics. They had detected a particle in the Large Hadron Collider, which was the last missing piece of the standard model of physics, and enough to explain the beginning of the universe. Well, if there was a big bang 13.7 billion years ago, what set off the bang? Right. What helped to set off the explosion? We think the Higgs particle could be the key to that. Is the match? In some sense, it's the match that set the fuse, which then lit up the big bang and the expanding universe that we see today. The Higgs boson. The detection of Higgs bosons confirmed the assumption that there exists a Higgs field in space that gives mass to everything in the universe. As Michio Kaku has said, maybe these particles have initiated the bang. The Higgs boson is the second heaviest particle we have ever known, despite its mass of more than 120 times that of a proton. These particles have an extremely short lifespan of only about 10 raised to power minus 22 seconds. Due to this, the Higgs boson cannot be naturally found in the world around us. Instead, scientists can confirm its existence by creating and detecting it in laboratory experiments. So in order to get to the tiniest details behind the creation of the universe, scientists spent almost 50 years and thousands of dollars to obtain these goddamn particles in a scientific lab. And after hundreds of trials, scientists have finally produced and observed Higgs boson particles in the Large Hadron Collider. Although they were first produced and detected in 2012, 
A recent workshop held by CERN in January has given more insights into Higgs particles. The detection of Higgs particles confirms the Higgs field, a special type of field that permeates all of space. The Higgs field was proposed in 1964 as a new kind of field that fills the entire universe and gives mass to all elementary particles. The Higgs boson is a wave in that field. Its discovery confirms the existence of the Higgs field. This field is understood to have come into existence during an epochal, electro-weak phase transition, a fraction of a nanosecond after the Big Bang. As defined by CERN, the Higgs boson is the simplest known particle, a fragment of vacuum with no charge or spin. But how were the Higgs particles obtained in the LHC? In the Large Hadron Collider, the detection of Higgs boson particles involved a meticulous process. The particles were produced by colliding two beams of protons at extremely high energies within the particle accelerator. Specifically, it's not possible to know in which specific collision the Higgs boson was produced, but the fact that it is being produced can be confidently established after analyzing enough collisions. When Higgs bosons are created, they quickly decay into other particles. Scientists employed advanced particle detectors positioned around the collision points to capture and analyze these decay products. These detectors were designed to measure the properties and trajectories of the resulting particles with great precision. By studying the patterns and characteristics of the detected particles, scientists searched for specific signatures and energy distributions that were indicative of Higgs boson decays. This involved sifting through enormous amounts of data to identify rare occurrences that matched the expected behavior of Higgs bosons. We observe an excess of 5.0 sigma in this region. Everybody was getting excited about the bump, the, the peak in the plot. There was the sign of this new particle, the Higgs boson. How does the Higgs boson impact our lives? The Higgs boson itself is part of the answer to why we, and everything we interact with, have mass. Or simply, it's the last missing puzzle of the standard model of physics that we need to understand the universe. However, its impact on us won't be possible to determine until the latest discoveries and theories are proposed. If we compare this discovery with the discovery of electrons by J.J. Thompson, it won't be wrong to claim that, in just a matter of time, the Higgs boson can change the way we see the world. In 1897, with the discovery of the electrons, J.J. Thompson did not know what exceptionally crucial thing he had discovered during his experiments. But later we found out that electrons are used everywhere in our daily lives, whether it's electricity, means of communication, entertainment, transport, medicine, and whatnot. Everything is based on electrons. Thompson did not know how much the electron would revolutionize society. More than 100 years later, the world is a different place. Similarly, nowadays we can't say that Higgs particles impact us directly. However, it can be said that the Higgs boson has indirectly affected everyday life. Since many of the technologies developed to find it are now in use all over the globe, in areas well beyond particle physics, it's just a matter of time before we discover that Higgs bosons directly impact our society, just the way it took us to understand the importance of electrons. Near-future detections of Higgs boson right now, run three of the Large Hadron Collider is going, during which the investigation of the mysterious Higgs boson will intensify, especially after the completion of the Particle Accelerator's high-luminosity upgrade in 2029. According to estimates from CERN, after this upgrade, the LHC would be able to produce and observe approximately 15 million Higgs bosons every year. This upgrade will enable the LHC to generate a higher number of collisions, providing researchers with increased opportunities to observe exotic phenomena beyond the standard model of physics, such as the discovery of dark energy and its characteristics. Discovery of Exotic Quarks Another crucial discovery that happened at the Large Hadron Collider LHC, was the discovery of three never-seen quark particles. Quarks are like the tiniest Lego pieces that make up everything we see in the universe. If you could zoom into an atom inside your body, you would find electrons and protons. Upon further zooming in, you'll find almost invisible points, which are quarks, the fundamental building blocks of all the matter we can see. After colliding negatively charged mesons in the LHCB, Physicists discovered the strangest pentaquark and tetraquark. The pentaquark is made up of a charm quark, a charm antiquark, an up, a down, 
and a strange quark. However, the open charm tetraquark is composed of a charm quark, a strange antiquark, an up quark, and a down antiquark, and it was spotted together with its neutral counterpart in a joint analysis of decays of positively charged and neutral B mesons. While talking about these magnificent discoveries, LHCB spokesperson Chris Parks said, Finding new kinds of tetraquarks and pentaquarks and measuring their properties will help theorists develop a unified model of exotic hadrons, the exact nature of which is largely unknown. It will also help to better understand conventional hadrons. Although the predictions of quarks being the fundamental building blocks were made by theorists almost 60 years ago when conventional hadrons were detected for the first time. Only with the Large Hadron Collider was it possible to observe these quarks from the smallest distance and scientists could note their properties so that they could accurately predict what exactly happened just a few seconds after the Big Bang. However, lots of research and theories are still needed to get down to the beginning of the universe. Where, how, and what particles initiated the bang?